am Dr. Stan Appel here at Houston Methodist and director of the Johnson Center for Cellular Therapeutics and committed to helping patients with neurodegenerative diseases and most especially with ALS. We've been at this for many, many years as we've been at Alzheimer's. And the beautiful thing is there are promising results which hopefully will lead to meaningful help for these patients over many years to come. Regulatory T cells are a class of immune cells that are neuroprotective. We have T cells that are toxic, that can attack the body uh, or can attack bacteria or any infection, but more critically, they can cause major autoimmune problems. The regulatory T cells are a class of T cells that can protect against the bad T effector cells and therefore be of significant value. We made a request to the FDA who approved a small pilot experiment in which we could give the patient's own regulatory T cells that were toxic remove them, expand them, they became normal and give them back to the patients. We did this in three patients with ALS and to our great surprise and pleasure, the patients stopped progressing. Their ALS stopped progressing. This was extremely exciting for us, but when we stopped the infusions, the patients deteriorated. So we had an opportunity in the same three patients to go back again, give them their own Tregs that had been expanded and normalized outside the body. And once again, we stopped progression. So this was our first study, very exciting. And we went on to our second study. And in our second study, that's when I made the presentation to a wonderful person, Dr. Howard Berman, who listened to the story, became very excited, and he decided that we needed to form a company which is now known as Koya Therapeutics. Recent study that was performed with Koya Therapeutics, we're able to accomplish this. And the way we did this is by using subcutaneous interleukin-2 for our approach is this combination therapy administered subcutaneously that can in fact be scalable so we can do large studies to define efficacy. A large double-blind placebo-controlled study in Alzheimer's disease, 46 patients, and that's underway now and we're very excited about that and Koya awaits the results of this before we move on to a much larger study in Alzheimer's disease as well. Then coming back to ALS, there is no disease with more inflammation and more evidence of oxidative stress than IL-2 and the fact that a combination therapy could be beneficial there as it was in 302 study the combination of IL-2 plus CTLA-4-IG, that combination, which is COYA-302, also looks extremely promising and exciting. A, in terms of the patient seemed to slow to the point of being almost the same one year later as they were at baseline, which is very exciting. And at the same time, enhanced Treg suppressive function and Treg numbers, and with a, a significant effect on the inflammatory milieu suppressing it. So these are our two present targets for COYA. Very excited about the implications of our preliminary studies. The studies were open label, Clearly, they're limited, but the promising results are still ones that we're quite excited about. After all, this is an important area of human disease with a largely unmet need. The ability to suppress these diseases we're just getting started with. The good thing is 
we have promising academic results that are being translated into larger studies that would be meaningful. Number one, doctors dealing with neurodegenerative diseases realize that this is the great unmet need in human diseases. Patients and their families, these are diseases not just of individuals, but of families as well. Patients understand that there is a great unmet need. So anything that has preclinical and clinical promising data is something that the patients don't need to be explained to, the doctors don't need to be explained to. However, large double-blind placebo-controlled trials are necessary to prove efficacy, and that's the excitement. We're on that path, hopefully, to achieve those goals.